nothing is ever bad as it seems. Um, it's always our perception and our feelings towards the situation in which makes it what it is. This year, learn to flip that switch and learn to assess yourself better and know that what you're feeling about that situation or about that person at that certain moment is just solely your feelings about them and it's not entirely the truth. The way that we react to certain things, our first moments or reactions are sometimes not the best. We're overreacting, we're in our head and we're just totally thinking of worst case scenario so we're gonna perceive things in a negative way. And it's not till later where we've kind of taken it all in, kind of accepted it and know like, okay, well that's happened so this is what I can do with it now. What you feel and what you think in the moment is not what you're gonna be feeling later. And I don't want you to always carry on those perceptions and those thoughts and ideas to make them your reality later. There's honestly not really no stressful situations. It's just your stressful reactions towards those situations. But here's the key and here's lucky for us is that we are in control of our thoughts and we can always change. Next time something challenging presents itself, uh, carry a little bit more humor towards it. Have a little bit more curiosity and a little bit more knowledge and know that this too shall pass. You'll be a little bit more free in knowing that the worst things that can happen are not going to hold you hostage and prisoner to your mind and to your negative thoughts. I myself as a control freak have known and have learned the hard way that I'm not always in control. And the more that I tug on trying to be in control, so the more the universe gives me challenging situations and moments that I don't necessarily like, I am more able to adapt and learn that I can't change some things. I can change the way that I perceive them, the way that I react, the way that I feel, but ultimately the way that it is happening is what's happening. And so I've been able to loosen up those reins a little bit, to have myself at ease, to loosen my shoulders a little bit, to know like your greatest asset is going to be how you choose to adapt to certain things and how flexible you are. If you're always choosing to put up a front and to be on the defensive side of everything, your life is going to continue to be challenging. You know, you're going to continuously find yourself in positions that you don't want to, that make you uncomfortable because life is trying to teach you that not everything is easy and not everything is your way. As much as I want to be a control freak and control everything, I still like the idea and I still like the possibility of everything happens for a reason and I never know what can happen you know I like that element of surprise and knowing that today can be just a normal day and tomorrow something great happens. adaptability is the ability to live in the present to live freely and willingly to be able to respond to the demands of life and its changes when things change uh, people of that strength are able to move with it I want to come into this year with the ability to adapt, with the ability to, you know, know that I don't, you know, this is different than what I expected, but I welcome it with open arms because obviously it's here for me for a reason. You know, I'm still going to focus on my goals and nothing is going to hold me back, but anything that comes against me or comes in my realm, I, I can take it. So there is a difference between adapting to cope and adapting to win. And this year with that 2020 vision, you're going to adapt to win. Happy Monday.